Hey everybody, headed out to uh, cut four beams at a minimum today. I've got another eight on the list that I would like to get cut, uh, but it is already about uh, quarter to one. Sun sets at five o'clock, so I don't know if that's in the cards, but we're gonna give it a try. Come along and we will get started. I'm a wee man. <laughs> you really don't know freedom until you can just get out of your car and pee right there, just like a dog. You don't have to go find a tree, nothing. You just get out and pee, that's freedom. As you can see, the snow melted last night. It's about 40 degrees here right now, so good day to do some work. Okay, so you need to measure these out to 13 feet, 10 inches, 15 sixteenths, I think that's what it is. I'm gonna have to check. I have to check the cut list. This is nine feet and a quarter inches, that's correct. Nine feet, 11 and a half inches, that's correct. And then 13 feet. 10, 15, 16, that's all in all, my arm is feeling considerably better today. Like, maybe I didn't damage it as much as possible. So, what was going on is uh, my mother-in-law is not in, a, in good health right now, and uh, she had fallen. I needed to help her. And she's, she's a light woman. She weighs a third of what one of these beams weighs. And uh, it was three o'clock in the morning. We went over to her house to get her off the floor. And when I grabbed her, I felt just a pop. I mean, you could almost hear it. Uh, nobody else heard it, but I certainly heard it. And I, I, there was a flash of lightheadedness, but I couldn't let her go. I, I had her, right? So I compensated with my left and got her into a chair. Um, and it was just, I don't know if it was because I was sleeping and, and just very quickly within a matter of a few minutes, I was doing some, some pretty extraneous work. But uh, so yesterday was a pretty miserable day. I, you know, I struggled out here. If you watch that video, I struggled out here. And uh, so that night, I, when I looked it up, you know, I looked up. You know popping sound in bicep and it immediately said torn bicep needs surgery which is simply not an option right now um and there wasn't really any other things this is like the the whole web md garbage that i always tell people don't get too wrapped up in because you'll think you'll have cancer and uh there i am getting wrapped up in it not that WebMD isn't great for, I'm sure, probably a lot of fine things. But it'll also make you think that you're about to die when it's, you know, hemorrhoids. My arm is still sore, no doubt. But I'm able to use it. Uh, I'm not going to try to lift anything with it. Still hurts. But when I woke up this morning and it felt 80% better, I said, oh, maybe this is not as bad as, as what I initially thought. There you go. That's four. So I'll take these ends off. We'll notch them. Hit them with circular saw. bam -o. Bam. I feel like a new man out here today. Feel this arm starting to strain a little. I'm trying to take it a little bit easy. So I'm going to slot this one. And then uh, I'll break out the router, test it all, and then move on to the others. I have 
have a T bracket over there. After I route this real quick, I have a T bracket over here that I'll test it with. Make sure everything's good. I probably want to take the, uh, the router up a smidge if I can. Just a this is just a uh, random one that I just keep here for testing. Okay. This one's locked out. saying why is he doing that because where these where this T meets there's that curve there where that weld is at so you have to chamfer that out a little bit so it fits up in there Good. There. that's one side do the other side because I'm gonna mark this all the way around because this needs a slot on the direct opposite side of this as well. So I'm gonna mark that. That's getting cut out. This remains, but it's just letting me know where I have to be at. Drive is nice, son. It's nice. Like when you get a you get a cheap drill, or I'm sorry, a cheap saw, and you fire it up and it just starts screaming at you. Ah! This one, watch when I pull the trigger, it just it, it comes up to speed, and man, this thing cuts so smooth. I've ever owned a left bladed saw before. I like those cuts. So let's get them cleaned out. Cuts makes easier chiseling. I was just thinking, I don't know if I could have picked a better height for my sawhorses. 
They're a nice height for me to work for the most part. Easy to get onto the uh, the trailer and it was all by, by accident. It was just a random number that I had picked. I was like, ah, that sounds about good. And if you asked me that number right now, I wouldn't know it. I have no idea. But I guarantee you that what I've got might not be right for you because I'm a little on the under height side. And by a little, I mean I'm a wee man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not a wee man. But I'm Look at that, the more cuts makes it just easy to, to get these chips out, no problem. Can you hear that? I'll shut up here for a second. Man, they were shooting over there. They've been shooting over there. It's probably, I don't know, it sounds like a mile, half a mile away or something. And uh, they've been shooting over there all weekend. Whatever they've got. I guarantee you, you don't want to show up in their house at night <laughs> because those boys got some firepower over there. God bless America. God bless America. I considered cutting the trees down from my property building this barn out of the trees and I have uh, nothing I don't have any softwood no no pines whatsoever on my property it's all hardwood I thank God every day that I didn't do that as you know hardwood is harder and it's heavier this pine has actually been really nice to work with for especially for a, a rookie there's nothing been you know frustrating church today this morning so I once again forgot my good chisel by the time by the time I remember it I won't need it but I've got this old it's not exactly it's a, it's a chisel per se but it's actually referred to as a slick it's a large timber framing chisel inch and a half about 150 years old, sharp as a razor. And there's actually a market for those tools. There, you know, there, there are guys who collect them and there are guys who collect them and use them, you know, in, in, their, in their builds and their jobs and because, you know, uh, because that kind of that old world craftsmanship of making some really good tools is gone, right? We, we live in the days of Harbor Freight. You know, so these guys are going back and, and buying some of this stuff. Uh, you know, that's hundred years old or so. Now there is a guy, I think he's out west. You'd have to look it up. His name is Barr, B-A-R-R. -R. And he makes, he makes some really high-end 
chisel spore, and I'm not talking about for guys like me, I'm talking about guys who know what they're doing, right? And, it, and he is highly regarded. Sun's going down. I got these four. These are the four inside posts. They're done. So these are all of the first floor posts complete, ready to go. So all in all, I had a productive day. Um, I didn't get the, I was hoping to get the uh, four beams that I was working on. Those are the inner beams and eight more beams done the four i got done the eight i didn't even get started i didn't even get them loaded uh just ran out of sunlight it's sunday um i always get off to a late start on sundays uh because of church in the morning so uh, and then i got a hundred mile trip to get out here so i'm gonna head home and uh we'll get back after it tomorrow thanks for watching